So, I decided to try to do a, a bit of a tutorial on male behavior, okay? This blonde right here, for instance, is a male. Not gender tested, where are you? <laughs> okay, so I've not banded him, I've not gender tested him, but he's breeding age. So as he's hit breeding age, he's doing the bow coup. Now, a lot of people think, okay, well, then that mean? Are you trying to say that there, that's just a male behavior? No, I'm not saying that at all. There is the specific things that I'm looking for, sorry, burn on my phone, that is more than just a bow, okay? It's the head bobbing, okay? It's the stance. They do a prancing, they do um, a strut, they do a dance. Their uh, crop area, the stomach, gets really large. I mean, bigger than even a girl, all right? Their coup is stronger. Their whole attitude, have attitude. Where did you go? I lost it. They have attitude. They are just something else. See this one? That's a male, okay? You can see by the bobbing of the head. I do never seen females bob their head like a robot. It's like a robot dance, okay? Uh, they just behaviorally, this is what they do, all right? So, this is something to watch for. It's not a simple, just bow coup. Females do that periodically when there's other girls around, there's a hierarchy dance that happens, but with males, they strut, okay? They dance, they show their stuff, okay? They just have attitude. So I thought I'd show that. Um, and also it helps to know what you're looking at. I mean, I have experience. I have so many of these birds that I'm actually able to look at them as a group. Do you see this attitude? I mean, they're just, there he is, attitude. They know they got something going on and they're gonna show their stuff. Look how big his stomach is, right? A female's coo is softer, it's a fluttery coo. It sounds like a butterfly almost. Like what do you think of like a butterfly flutter? Just, it's got a fluttery, flirty, girly sound. And males just do not have that. They are so much stronger in their coo. See, see how big his, his body is wider. Okay, he's, he is bigger, they're gonna be bigger. Now I have the big females too. So these are all things you gotta do a collection of indicators. But even with this, can't always know, unless they've reached the breeding age, you can have a young male and they won't sound like this, they won't look like this, they won't behave like this. Matter of fact, they will be indistinguishable from females. You cannot tell the difference between a young male and a young female unless you're someone like me who has a group of them and I'm looking at them together from a bird's eye view and a, no pun intended. And guess what? I can kind of get a sense of who the girls are because they're very specific shape in the head. There's a very specific shape in their eyes and their bodies are more petite. But even then, it's just a guess and there's no guarantee. So if you ever get a breeder who says, I know 100% sure without DNA testing, you know, before breeding age, I wouldn't believe it. I'm sorry. Okay? It's just, you cannot make guarantees like that because a lot of times you're wrong. And my this mail's on my phone. Okay? So I thought anyone who's wanting to know about that, <laughs> thought you'd like to know that. Thanks for, uh, thanks for listening, guys. And thanks for watching.